Hello again, Internet. Here's Martin, and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. I was, I published a few of the videos recently. Some of you probably didn't pay enough attention. I post one video about my work. I posted one other video about uh, the free trial on Skillshare, and still some of you is asking me about the uh, tips about retouching so one thing i want to mention don't forget to always check the links in the description especially a few days ago i posted the link how you can get two months for free subscription and watch my premium courses i also give the links um some of the links are paid which will be in this uh in the description here to some of my courses also will be links to some of the courses uh that are available for free for a limited time. This is very important. So, and now um, I'm going to uh, start uh, with some tips and I will post probably four videos, I think about the tips, about the true essentials for retouching you need. And then uh, you can leave in the description ideas what you want me to record in the future. Okay, sorry for that much talking. Uh, some of you come in here just for the tips. So how I clean up the image, because uh, in the first part, I want to talk about cleaning up the image. Uh, that will be the image, how we end up, as you can see, this is the image where we stand right now. It's already after raw process, uh, processing, that will be ending image. But first step, how to clean. It's never complicated. I never do this complicated. I create empty layer and I'm going to call this clean. First step I'm going to do, I clean images using healing brush tool. So let's zoom a little. Uh, I have some problem with recording software. So uh, when I press Alt, probably this uh, one cross stay after all. But once you press Alt or Option, you will see the cross. Yeah, you can you can do this if um, in your Photoshop. Um, when you release, there should not be a cross anymore. If you see this, this is just recording software and getting crazy. So what I do with the healing brush, I'm going to press other option next to the spot I want to clean. And I'm taking the sample. So what is happening right now? It's um, copying the texture. And when I paint over, it well, I cannot, and the problem is somewhere in the... Everything looks fine. I think the software was just getting crazy. So, once again, what I do, Alter option, we copy the texture next to the spot, and we apply the texture, and how about the rest, and the color is adjusted automatically from the area around. So, what I do next, I just clean all of the spots in exactly the same way. You don't really need to any techniques. That's how you clean the spots. Uh, or at least that's how I clean. And that's uh, what I'm showing you. That's how I clean the image. As you can see all of the spots. It takes usually a few minutes. Uh, it takes a while to clean everything, some uh, hair. But uh, this is the tool that I use for regular spots. And uh, I'm not going to clean all of them, just a few to show you. Then. Other thing is, if you have some um, more difficult spots, you can also change blending mode, for example, into darken. So if you want to clean the really bright spots, but preserve most of the information, you will cover only the darker areas on the image, as you can see. And it's it's really, it's, it's much better about preserving. And the same if you choose lighten, you can clean uh, the, areas that are brighter than the spot you want to clean. So for all of the regular spots, I'm using healing brush tool. Then if I want to clean up the, the hair, if I want to even out the texture a little bit, I'm changing to clone stamp. So as you can see, we have this tiny mustache over here. We need to even out. So I'm copying the texture and the color from the area near and I'm trying to softly apply to even out this mustache as you can see. 
not very complicated, not very difficult. And the same I would do over here, as you can see, I have some of this hair. I'll just try to uh, paint over it with crown stamp, just as simple as that, as you can see. So that's how I clean this. Also, I can choose smaller crown stamp and sort out a little more difficult, more advanced areas. Uh, I believe it's not very complicated. This is a very basic step, uh, step in uh, what I do with retouching. And I'm always using just these two basic tools for cleaning up. So I wanted to make some tutorial for you if you're looking for a tip uh, and have the question how to clean up the image. Best way to clean up the image is use this basic tools and do as much as you can using this basic method without destroying the texture trying to preserve as much texture as possible thank you for watching this quick tutorial and i'm going to talk to you once again very soon with another with more tips about portrait and beauty retouching